Today we're taking a look at Doctor Doom and She-Hulk. Let's talk about him first. I don't really know anything about Doctor Doom. The only thing I know about him is that he was the main villain in the 2000 whatever movie. That was okay. And even then, I don't think he looked nearly as cool as he does here. Um, I found this one at Walgreens when I went about three weeks ago now at this point. No, maybe like two weeks ago because this is the last week of January. But I got him along with the Human Torch. The rest of the wave was there except for She-Hulk. But I was more excited for this one. And then this one was the only one that I didn't cancel my pre-order for because I want two of him. I uh, have some ideas what I'm going to do with the second one. But I've seen him... Uh, every not everywhere. I've seen him at two separate uh, Walmarts, and I didn't get them. But still, I do really like this one. Let's look at the box first. As you can see him from the front. Uh, I forget what he comes with. He comes with the left leg. And then you get some nice box art from the side. I don't think it looks nearly as nice as the other figures. But you can see the back, you can get a nice product shot, which actually, I think he does look better here than he does uh, in the figure. Although he does look better in person than he does through pictures or videos, we'll see. Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom uses his incredible intelligence and mystical abilities to oppose the Fantastic Four. Yeah, it's nothing really that special, it's just a box. Um, I do keep the boxes though. So, let's take a look at him. He did come with a couple accessories, which is nice. So, overall, the detailing is pretty nice. He does come with a lot of metal bits, and he does have a really long robe which makes him a little bit hard to stand. That's not really a robe, uh, more of his, his little tunic. Um, it's a little long, but it doesn't really, well, it does restrict the leg quite a bit, but it, it does have slits on the side. So if you really wanted to, mm, it doesn't really go out that far. I've seen people customize it, giving him the full cloth, good um, robe and tunic. He does have a very knightly detail, which you can see, it looks like he has armor. I don't remember what his deal was, but I do like how the belt looks. It looks really nice. But, yeah, I don't really know his deal. I don't remember how he becomes Doctor Doom. This head that he comes with on already does look good. Although, from certain angles, the eyes do look a little strange. I like the texture that he has throughout the cloth parts that are sculpted. It does have a pretty nice sculpt. I really like the feet. So the feet are probably the best part of the figure. And I like the way these ankles are articulated. They don't have a swivel at the at the at the calf or but they do have it at the um ankle and he does go forward and he has the pen but yeah i think he looks pretty nice he did come with quite a bit of accessories quite a few he comes with two fists that he has on already and he also comes with an evil hand which is a left hand it's kind of reaching out to grab that looks cool and he also comes with a hand a grabby hand that he can grab his gun with. So his gun that he has, or his pistol, is right here in the holster off to the side. Take that out, it fits right in. It's already inside when you get him out, but it's easy to put on. Although, the tip is very, oh, the whole thing is rubbery. So this works incredibly easy. It does have nice detail though, but I don't like how bent it is. But still, I do like how it looks. Part of my favorite, um... Oh, I just noticed that. He does have little straps 
that I guess keep his armor together. They're on his shoes. Um, but yeah, you can remove the head. He comes with an alternate head, which is a more classic look. A little more boxy. I do like the way his, uh, not cape, his uh, hood wraps on the other one, the one that already comes on. This is the better head. But the way this one looks doesn't look that bad. I do think the eyes are a little funky, in my opinion. And if you got the, um, the Iron Man one, it does come with the head. Can pop in, it's a little tight, but yeah, I really like him. Uh, for articulation, he has double hinged elbows. You get a bicep swivel, you get a swivel at the wrist. There's a hinge, ball joint, and head forward, back, side to side. Has a nice swivel, doesn't necessarily go up very actually. Yes, it does. You can shift it back a little bit, you can look down more with this head than the other one. Um, if you do pop off the head before I continue with articulation, the cape attacks through a peg and a hole in the back. And then the little thrusters that he has in the back, you can peg some effects in there. Um, but you have to push the cape in all the way if you want it to stay secured in place. Let's put his other head back on. He has a ball jointed diaphragm, which doesn't really do much. It does turn fairly well. Uh, he, his legs go forward and back not that much. Double hinge, which is pretty good. You got the ankle swivel pointing and curling, and then the, the rocker as well as a thigh cut. See some of the uh, Under Armour. Looks a little silly, but does he have? Yes, he does. He does have a thigh swivel. But yeah, I think he looks pretty good like this. Let's, but actually, let's put him on to the side. I was looking forward to him the most. I wasn't the biggest fan of the designs for the Fantastic Four. As for She-Hulk, She-Hulk, I saw her. No way. That's a lie. I did see it. Let me change that so okay, well, it's not really changing. She Hulk I had to get online because I couldn't find her anywhere in store and I got her through Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro. Not Hasbro. Hasbro Pulse. And, and you know, I was impatient. I was gonna get her through Amazon next month. I didn't wanna wait that long. So I caved in, I got her online. Once I got her, I did find her once or twice at Walgreens. Oh, sorry, Walmart. But, you know, the box is box. It has a nice logo of the Hulk. Does that your doom hat? No, he doesn't. So it just says Hulk. Which is not necessarily she Hulk, she is Hulk. Jennifer Walter struggles to control her anger and keep the powerful Hulk at bay. So this has the more modern look of she Hulk. She looks good in the artwork. Um, and then you have the artwork in the back. It looks good. Let's take a look at the figure. It's nothing that different. Although, she, there, this is a new body that they used for her. And I think it looks really good from the front and in the back. She's very muscular. She's well toned. She looks great. Um, I do like the way the hair is sculpted, although I wish it, maybe she came with an alternate head with a closed mouth. The shirt is a separate piece. There are some tears on it. It looks good. The jeans look nice. There are a bunch of rips in the front and in the back. Uh, it has a nice texture. She's very muscular all over. She does have small green parts. That are just painted, they're not sculpted. I think the only ones that are next to you, I think all of them are painted on. Uh, the feet are new, she doesn't have any shoes. She comes with a pair of fists already on. Um, you can change them for a pair of open hands, which are pretty good for posing in certain ways. The head is on a ball joint. 
down. Uh, not that much because of the hair, it does swivel from side to side, uh, not much of a tilt, eh, maybe a little bit, it's a little wobbly. You get shoulder rotation forward and back, you get the bicep swivel, double hinge at the elbow, wrist, forward and back on both of them, you get diaphragm, ball joint, ball joint and hips that go forward out pretty far, out surprisingly far, double jointed knees, point the toe, a rotation. I wish she could have a boot swivel, but she doesn't. That's alright. But yeah, I think she's a pretty nice figure. And despite having only one hinge, did I say double? I think I might have said double. She has a single hinge, which does have a, a little awkward cut, but it doesn't really bother me that much. And it makes her go a lot further than she would normally. Um, she does look good. I didn't really care for this figure. I think the only reason I cared was because she was the only one that I couldn't find. But I do like her. Oh, by the way, she also has uh, a swivel on the elbow, which I don't know why she comes with two swivels, but it's fine. But yeah, I think she looks okay. I'll take a look at the Super Scroll later. I don't want this video to get too long. I think with the rest of the Fantastic Four, they work in scale, so they do look well together. She-Hulk is just a little bit taller than the guys. She's almost the same height as the Thing, and she's definitely smaller than the Hulk, the new Hulk body. But I do like the way it scales up. I don't know what I'm going to do with She-Hulk. I don't know where I'm going to put her, but I'll figure it out. As far as Super Scroll, we'll take a look at him later in another video. Because that one was another figure that I was excited for more. This might mean not really knowing anything about the Fantastic Four. <sighs> I'm also recording this a little bit later than I wanted to. I was a busy weekend. Um, you should be able to find them fairly easily on Amazon. Uh, if they're still available for pre-order, you can get them. Or if they're already available for about 20 bucks at Walgreens and at Walgreens and Walmart and Target they should be around 20 dollars I think unless they're 22 at Hasbro they're I think 19.99 but they are raising the price and I don't know if this counts as a 2019 wave or a 2020 wave there were only six figures to build the build a figure which wasn't even that big although it is better that they release the thing on its own rather than him being the builder figure. I think that was the, the probably best way they could have handled that. Uh, besides that, you know, I really like them. I enjoy them. Uh, if you can get your hands on them, I would highly recommend them. They do look nice on the shelf. And... I'm just looking forward to the rest of the waves. Now I just have to do that demo goblin wave of most figures that I know nothing about, but it's okay. I do, I just like figures. I, I enjoy figures. Hopefully I'll get to review uh, characters that I'm more familiar with soon. The only reason I really like uh, the Marvel comics stuff is because of the MCU. So I'm more of an MCU figure collector. That was my main thing and then I got a couple comic only waves. And that's fine, I do enjoy looking at them and I think looking at pictures online of the comics, seeing all the advantage stuff, even these t-shirts look incredible. I just like the way, the, the general aesthetic of Marvel. Um, I am a lot more excited for the movie stuff, the live action stuff. That's always been more of my thing. Uh, there's also a reason why I kind of prefer these Black Series line. Uh, I don't know, I don't think that's true. But I do like the Black Series stuff because it reminds me so much of the Tokusatsu. Especially the Troopers. The Troopers are probably one of my favorite parts of Star Wars in general. And the miniatures and vehicles and stuff. But yeah, hopefully I'll take a look at uh, more stuff that I like. I did get... Oh, where is he? Where'd he go? I put him somewhere else. I did get um, King Caesar, finally. Uh, I've seen him in stores a bunch of times, but I've never gotten him. 
and I finally did. So hopefully I'll take a look at some Godzilla stuff soon, and uh, that's that. And we'll see you next time. Bye.